Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuts by Reggie back with another video and today we are going to do a quick review. I kind of touched on this clipper in one of my last videos, but we're going to talk about it a little bit today. Uh, but before we get into that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos. If y'all don't do nothing else, just comment something engage with the channel you know what i mean engage a little bit right so today we are going to review the vapor clipper now how the box actually is i don't know if this is the box that they using when you buy it if y'all can let me know you know send it to me dm or something um but shout out the wall they did send this to me uh the wall vapor clipper i've been using this for a little bit now um, as far as what comes in it, it's actually not a lot with it, right? You do get the clipper, of course, you get the clipper, and then you get their comb, and then you get the charging cable that's over here somewhere, and then you do get the the wall premium guards. And if y'all been watching my channel, y'all know the premium guards are my favorite guards, so I set those to the side just in case one of my other ones break off. I got them on hand for sure, right? And if you're not in, uh, uh, if you're not familiar with the premium guards, these are the wall premium guards versus some of the other ones. I don't even, I think that's a Babeless guard, but either way, these are the wall premiums. They got the the little silver here, and um, oh my bad, oh. I like these because they're 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 like a good form for me. Like they're not too thick, but because you know with a, a lot of the a lot of companies now they want to make the premium guards real thick. But like I said, they don't really form well with the head. Sometimes sometimes they're too fat. These cut down, and then once you get used to these, the length that these cut. Some of the other ones they kind of like I said a little thicker, so they don't cut the same length. So whatever. I got used to these. These are my favorite. Um, now I do mix and match sometimes, but whole nother story, right? But today we are going to talk about, I mean, today, today we are going to talk about the Vapor Clipper from Wild on their website. Now on the Wild website, these are $1.99. You can use my discount code, uh, cuts by Reggie 10, save you 10%, get your savings. But you can or but or <laughs> you can go to atlanta barber uh atlanta barber beauty supply.com i'll leave the link down below and they are 189 on their website so if you want to save you a couple dollars on there now this design well we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a second right so this is the clipper like i said it is 199 this is 8000 uh rpm brushless motor you get two and a half hours of runtime with a 60 minute charge time, which is pretty good. Um, you don't get a charging dock with this. And I know that is kind of a problem sometimes, especially when you going up in these prices, you're in the 200 price range. Uh, a lot of people would at least like a charging dock. You know what I'm saying? With this flaring out at the bottom, you, you really can't. Like I use my Tune 45, the uh, power dock. And sometimes I can set different depending on the clipper i can set different clippers into different slots as long as it sit on the dock it's cool it might be loose because it's not a true fit but as long as it you know connects it connects with this the way this flare is out i can't use it on anything else there's no other wall charging dock that would work so it's really just this um clipper that you would have to use if you can see the build this is all plastic then you got a little rubber grip here nice hold this feels very nice in your hand floating lever that's one thing as well now not saying that they have to so i'm not going to say that's one thing that wow needs to do but <laughs> once you get used to everybody doing the click lever sometimes when you go get back to a floating lever not that it's tough to get back to, but you, you get used to that click on certain clippers and stuff. So I wouldn't be mad, especially if this had a click lever on it, but it do get the 
uh the fade blade that's also one thing this is their fade blade it says with more teeth to kind of go through her a little bit easier which i haven't had a problem but i wish this fade blade was a little bit thinner right um only that's only a preference that's a personal preference it don't have to be but i do like even the even the vapor blade from um from stylecraft is thinner but it's like that blend in between fade and um um fade and taper blade you know what i'm saying so I, I i wish this was a little bit thinner but it's not bad it gets the job done of course you know what i'm saying and the reason because i i, I stopped the video but now we're gonna go back but the reason i was saying i hope it ha i wish it had a thinner blade is only a personal preference because of when I'm going over afros or flat tops and stuff, I want that blade just a little bit thinner. Again, personal preference. It just works better for me, especially going over a afro, I mean a, a flat top or something. It just, the thinner the blade for me at that time, it just works a little bit better. And again, this is a brushless motor and it has, what's, what's it called? What's it called? Adaptive speed control. Adaptive speed control. Where that's like a, it helps the blade slow down depending on if it's going through thick hair and all that stuff. A lot of the, some of the clippers that says that they have that, and I guess it's a good thing. So don't take what I'm about to say as a negative. I guess it's a good thing because you really can't tell if it's really doing it. The only time you can tell if it's, if a clipper has it or not is if they say it does, but then you start getting tugs on certain you know kinds of hair so i guess that is a good thing because you really can't feel it when you're going through different textures of her if it's actually slowing down if it's not or whatever right here's the sound very quiet clipper is it the quietest no jrl still exists and then um there are some other ones that could be quieter but it feels very nice in hand the usage of it though the usage of it yeah anyway this has been by far now this is only talking about clippers that i have used right this have been by far the second best clipper i've used this year right uh as y'all know my favorite clipper that i've been using is the uh instinct x from stylecraft but this has been by far one of the best additions to my um to my arsenal the thing about i was thinking about maybe doing a giveaway on this or maybe selling this but this is not going anywhere right as far as fading this blade it does nothing gets hot and the the body doesn't get hot the blade doesn't get hot as far as fading it's very smooth it's very clean the uh the wall motor goes through thick hair with ease like i had no problems getting stuck in like you know you got the thick hispanic hair coarse hair like or not i was about to say like mine i don't have it i mean it's there but it's not you get what i'm saying but <laughs> it goes through her with ease right uh so when i'm laying down her everything lays and i know this has nothing to do with nothing somebody's gonna make fun of my accent i am from the south right so when i say her you know what i mean hair 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 but somebody gonna say something but um it does go through the hair very smooth i had no problems uh like i said with fading taking out bald lines you can of course zero gap it i did not zero gap this i usually don't zero gap zero gap clippers however they come unless the blade is off i keep it as is you know what i'm saying there's no reason for me to really change it unless i like i do have one um one of my instincts that's little closer but this has been a great addition um at 200 dollars, is it a great buy i would say so i would definitely say it's worth the money um as far as wall now i wouldn't be mad if they would have had a charging dock you know what i'm saying to kind of add to the price and again they sent it to me and the the send box so i don't know if once you get it it's anything different but you don't get anything added to it now um in my other video when i was talking about this i was comparing it to the Kuno clipper 
Kuno Clipper from Wall. That's way overpriced. Don't need it. This is the one you need if you're looking to get something from Wall for sure. Now, there is another clipper. It's from Wall. At least it says from Wall on Amazon. And I will leave the link down below for that as well. It's the same body style. Uh, shout out to um, uh, YouTube Barber Academy because I seen that he was talking about it as well. And he opened it up as as uh, except for i think that one is a uh, brush motor this is a brushless motor but as far as the battery and everything it seems to be pretty much the same clipper so 199 on their website um uh, 189 on the atlanta barber website and then it got this version here i'm gonna put the picture on the screen it's 59 dollars on amazon now i haven't used it maybe i'm gonna buy it to see the comparables and see how it actually work because it doesn't have this blade it has just a uh because this is not it's not it's not advertised as professional so it doesn't have this type of blade it just have a regular standard blade on there um but if you want to try it out it's 59 dollars on amazon you know what i'm saying but all in all is this clipper worth the money the answer is yes i say if you're looking to buy anything from wild definitely uh give that give that a go uh but yes yeah, it's, it's worked great i kind of talked about it on my last on one of the videos about it so i just wanted to give a a complete answer of is it worth it yes 200 dollars uh 199 <laughs> so it's not 200 dollars. it's 199 uh, two and a half hours of run time um, 60 minutes of charge time to get that full charge um, you got the 8000 rpm adaptive speed control nice blade on there it's a that's a I love that blade on there like I actually thought about because I'm so I'm so in love with the instinct X that I thought about using this and, you know this is definitely stand on my station um, yeah, it's not going. This is going to be the only clipper that on my station without a charge dock at the moment, though. But it's not going anywhere. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos. Right? Right. And I'll be back sometime. I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Peace.